was, yeah, I was like, seven, I was 17, I was 18 years old. And um, my girlfriend was at college and I was still in high school. I couldn't have been 18. 17? Shit. I don't even know what month it was. Oh, it was winter. Okay, so I was 17 years old. And, um, and uh, I had this friend who was trying to get magic powers on his guitar player. He was, wasn't any good. Okay. But, um, but uh, he wanted to become a rock star and he believed the folk were about Led Zeppelin selling their souls to Robert Johnson and all this stuff. <laughs> you know, we were just at the right age where that and Procter & Gamble seemed really Yeah, scary. yeah, yeah, remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and the Smurfs coming alive and... and, and, and all the Rod Stewart, all these... Any, any rumor that you could throw out yeah. was suddenly, oh, wow, yeah, that must be true. So, um... So, I was, I was kind of spooked by that, even though I didn't really believe in, in any kind of gods. Right. I just didn't. I was kind of an atheist by default. My parents were atheists, my brother was an atheist. I didn't believe it, but I wanted to because it was, I had tried when I was younger to go to church and look for some kind of something. Because I was dramatic, and I wanted to see a movie, and I wanted something to be really, uh, really drama. I needed drama. Right. And writing. So, writing. So, I, I I guess I was somewhat open to it, right? And then I was, uh, uh, full disclaimer, I was 17 years old, I was tripping right. on the acid. Okay, right? that old. And, and, but I wasn't really, I was coming down, I wasn't really that, you know, tripping. And I was at home alone, and I was playing my guitar, knowing all of the folklore and all this other stuff, and kind of not believing it, but kind of... Wanting to just enough to, to be slightly spooked by it. And I'm playing guitar, and, and, and there's a mirror there, and I'm going through all this stuff in my mind. And I see my cats, two cats on the bed in my parents' room. And I see the cats, and I was imagining, so what's the idea? That I'd be able to, like, somehow use the guitar to control others? Is that, I, I was just playing around with the idea in my head. I was like, alright, so then I'd be able to play something, and my cats then would maybe look up or something. I would, like, you know, cats are sensitive, who knows? Maybe, right. maybe they have that ability. For right. 17. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, um, and so I start playing Led Zeppelin's Ten Years Gone, which was a spooky song to begin with, and a really cool guitar part. And my cats didn't react at all. And I was like, alright. And then I just kind of started playing some riff on it. And, I mean, I guess between the potential of the brain and, you know, a little bit being opened by, uh, maybe, and <laughs> great imagination and being 17 years old, I started playing something that was a little bit ahead of my current ability. But in my state, I magnified that as, that's way outside of my current ability. That must be someone playing me like all this folklore. And so right. I was kind of ready to believe that. And, and it kind of took off outside of my ability to really even realize what I was doing. Right. And that, to me, was very convincing that it was an instrumental Okay. Although I, I wanted to believe that anyway, but of course I didn't want the deal because oh, if that's the devil, then I have to go to hell. I guess there's hell, and I, you know, I was like, well, I don't want that. You know, like, what do I do? Oh, maybe there's God. And so I said a little prayer, and it like ended with magic, and that convinced me further. So I, I was sure for, for for years after that 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 was that was really uh, an experience where God that had intervened, intervened and shown me His power and blah blah blah. So I started trying to get religious, and a year later I met Jehovah's Witnesses. They had really good. And you told them about that, and they were like, "That was a demon." Let me explain it to you. They framed it. They framed it for me perfectly. Wow. I knew how to see it from that point. And but I also did it myself. I was when we were reading Genesis. I was like, "Yeah, this is." I had the same feeling. Not no possibility in my mind that it was my brain producing the same right. feeling from adrenaline and cortisol. But anyway. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, maybe 10 years into being a witness, I realized, well, I don't even know if that demonic experience was real. I was getting to be old enough to mm. look back on it. All right. But then I still had, well, I have the truth, right? And then I had a couple of things that made me question that. By the time I was ready to go, I was, my brain had already caught up with itself and seen all of the little bullshits that I had told myself. Right. The little uh, reasonings that I knew I didn't believe. Connect the dots. La, la, la. <laughs> Cool story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, <Mary. laughs>